Hey guys, Trev here, World Campfire Initiative, 17 Oatway Street, the Safety Orange House, and uh, I just wanted to uh, share a little bit of a story with you. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote uh, my best friend uh, from since I was five years old by saying, "Hey Mary, <laughs> we see three you, sister, like cheap one ply toilet paper." Yeah, man, I I can't believe it, but uh, Mary called the cops again, and uh, so basically, what's going on is. Uh, Mary's decided, instead of asking Maya uh, whether she wants to be here or not, and instead of asking Maya if there's food in the house and stuff, she she wanted to waste uh, all our all our resources and uh, the police and uh, social workers. So she made a phone call this morning and she sent them here to check out and see if we have any uh, food in the house. Of, of course we have food in the house, Mary. Have you not been watching any of these videos? People are, have been stopping by and giving donations for the garage like crazy and it's overflowing. There's lots of food here. Tons of food, and uh, and then you know. Well, I, anyway, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the main point to this is that why do you want to cons consistently and uh, non-stop call in and cause trauma for your daughter? It's bad enough that you left her uh, stranded in Sarnia and refused to drive her to Toronto so she could catch a flight home, which she told you multiple times that she wanted to. Uh, but then you got to do that, right? Nobody. Mine doesn't want the cops or she doesn't need that, okay? So stop being a disgrace to humanity, Mary. Stop being a piece of shit and pull your head out of your ass, sister, for real. And uh, all that actually happened here is the cops showed up. They were wonderful. They brought a social worker. The social worker uh, had a conversation with Maya and, and Maya basically told her how ridiculous her mom is being and that she's happy here and that they saw that there's food and everything, so we're good. But I was able to give the police uh, my my manuscript for the... Uh, for the one tribe parkland county uganda shoe drive and they're they're taking that down to the head office and they're all they're all gonna see if they have some shoes so that's the good that came out of this mary so uh, no matter what you do sister you keep trying to inject uh, darkness and negativity into the world but the only thing that happens now is it gets transmuted to light and then it comes here and all these wonderful things happen for myself for maya and for the one tribe transition home so i'd like to say thank you mary for uh for uh, bringing, bringing the cops here and allowing us to make this connection. And I hope that you have a great day, sister, and I suggest you pull your head out of your ass, and I wish for you to have every single day better than the day before it. And I bless this day, Mary. Peace, sister. One last thing too, Mary. Uh, if you're going to pull off, or at least try to pull off, a diabolical lie uh, like the one that you just, you just did, and then you phoned... Maya right after the cops are here and talk to her like you don't know what's going on and then you say to her oh uh, I heard the cops are there <laughs> do I need to say more oh my gosh that's uh that's pretty ridiculous and uh just real quick too for the rest of you uh who are watching if you don't know the uh Parkland County Uganda shoe drive uh is the deadline is the 11th of September oops that's wrong the deadline is actually uh November 11th 2022 so that's the deadline uh if you'd like to get some shoes in first so we're sending two or three hundred pairs of shoes over to uganda for the rainy season and uh myself and the six former homeless folks that live in the garage are doing the shoe drive and everybody's welcome to participate it would be wonderful if we get two or three hundred uh, sets of shoes for these kids so uh uh by law <laughs> So yeah, if you want to donate, please give me a call, 613-530-6655, or shoot me a text, or uh, drop a message down here, or uh, just show up at the house, 17 Oatway Street, Safety Orange, as you can see, and uh, we'd be happy to accommodate, and uh, we'll also pick that up if uh, we need to. Have a great day, everyone. Yeah, man. Peace.